we're a small operation, you know, we all we all play each other's roles from time to time, you know, I'll do repair sometimes, John does most of the repair, but sometimes I'll do some repair, and Mary's in here building boards all the time, and, and we're all kind of doing different roles, but we're just a small family group. We're not set up, tooled, nor do we want to become, you know, a giant manufacturer of anything. We want to continue to build things that are, that are small scale you know we don't want to we don't want to build a thousand of anything at a time we want to be able to have our our craftsmanship level maintain where it's at right now and we want to you know we want to sit down with each mic and power it up and let it burn in for two days on my bench and i want to listen to it after it sits there for two days warming up and make sure the tube is is fully burnt in and make sure that it burns in nice and quiet and that it sounds right and we want to run each microphone on the frequency response just to make sure that it's right in line where it's supposed to be and and you know, if we were had scaled up larger than that, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same thing, you know. And we want to we want to keep that that intimate detail of what we're building. We don't want things to be so so big and so much production running through here that we don't have a feel for what's going on. We don't have our own personal touch in every microphone if we get too big. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, we we handle every microphone. who worked at the Neumann factory during World War II as a physicist. And he had a, a stereo disc mastering company in Chicago called Chicago Stereo Mastering. And I worked for him. And when we were done with our day, he would want to talk microphones. Mm -hmm. I spent, I don't know, three years listening to him talk about building and designing microphones and repairing them. A lot of what we do when we started out was servicing microphones and this is a this is going to be a museum quality restoration that we're doing on a microphone from MGM Studios which Fritz Lang used in a couple of his movies um, and it's a 1920s Western Electric 47. The capsule was so wet and destroyed we had to really remanufacture it and we're in the process of just finishing that up and it's going to be a fine piece, and it's going to record music again. I think it's a big part of, of what, how you've learned how to make mics and what you wanted to make mics like is through repairing them. Repairing them and, and then the, using them in the studio. It's mm -hmm. like for a very long time, I was chief engineer at a bunch of studios. Uh, I got an affinity for all these wonderful microphones I got to work with. At, at Sonart, we had hundreds and hundreds of vintage mics. I worked at Paragon Recording as their sort of freelance chief engineer and Marty had an amazing mic locker. Every major mic you can think of. I don't rely on just my memory of the classics. We have all the classics here as references. You know, we have several Telepunk and 251s, we have U47s, we have U87s, you name it, we have it. B&O ribbons, RCA ribbons, and I have data. Test results from Lots of Neumann microphones. I learned on all these microphones. I used them for years. And now they're incredibly expensive. A vintage 251 will easily sell from fifteen dollars to $20,000. How can you make your money back? Spend what it used to cost to buy a house on a single piece of equipment. We try and make a, a product that's really a quality, a quality microphone that's built to the, to the highest standards we can possibly build it to but is also priced at a price that, that's still a realistic price, that's yeah. something that somebody can afford to buy. We decided we were going to make, you know, reasonable copies of the classics that were affordable, that were tools people could make money with. We're now in a throwaway economy, but that's not our philosophy. We, our philosophy is we're going to build a mic that in 50 or 60 or 75 or 100 years, people are still servicing and using. Lily, innocent 
nice child.